when I started playing Session Skate Simulator, it started off great. The full release was riddled with problems, and now the game is extremely fun. So if you just got it, here's a couple spots you can skate. I'm gonna show you, and we'll do some cool tricks along the way. Starting with New York City and Session Skate Simulator does an amazing job at making it easy to travel and find the cool spots. We're going to start with Blubba. This is at the top of the map when you go to select the location to warp to. And there's a lot of fun stuff to do at this spot. If you ever get here, which I honestly think you should, this spot is extremely famous in real life. So you will see a ton of tricks that actual skaters have done here and the historical challenges make it more of an accomplishment when you finally get them. Blubba is actually a really fun spot to skate in the game. There's so much to skate around it, but the ledges themselves are kind of small. So this one with the rail is kind of fun. I like to do the double grinds. And this tiny one is kind of high, so it's got a nice height, but I wish that the down ledge was a little bit higher so I can skate it going kind of faster and still have as satisfying of a feel, you get me? Skating is slow, it was totally fine. When the game first dropped, I spent days right here, dude. And now I skate here a decent amount, but it's really like a warm up spot before I go skate something a little more technical or challenging. But this spot is definitely fun. Don't sleep on it. What is your favorite trick to do in the game? I really like doing Bennett grinds. As you can see, I do those all the time. And I even threw in like a barley grind switch flip out eventually at some point in this list of tricks. But I just love like doing flips in the grinds it's so gratifying in the game bro <laughs> real talk this game is cool because the settings allow you to change the physics quite drastically and you can really make it fit your own personal play style instead of it being uh locked behind mods like skater excel or you just have to deal with the floatiness like skate 3 it's pretty enjoyable to have a game that's not so arcade based that still has content like the story mode unlockables and whatever else but on the flip side this game takes a lot of work from the user to make it feel um, fun not necessarily fun the game is kind of fun just like off rip but if your system i mean if your settings are not correct in the advanced settings then your physics is off and it makes some of the mechanics a little hard to play on and then there's some quite specific things like if your scope input is on small, you can't do impossibles. But nonetheless, it's still fun. I was actually skating this in a creative way. I never seen people really skate before. I wanted to grind the top and kind of drop in. So that front smith was perfect, bro. That was absolutely perfect. And the front nose was a little unreal, but still pretty dope. It'd be sick if it could get smoother right there. I want that transition to be faster. It'd be sick if we could change the speed of that. Now this spot is the courthouse directly across the street from Blubba and it has a ton of stuff to skate that is absolutely famous. This super long rail is right here and it's, uh, it's a cool ride if you're into that type of stuff. And it, I got some pretty decent tricks. This kickflip front smith was weird how bro wasn't locked all the way in but my grind alignment is pretty low so it's easy for my character to slide out of grinds. I could have did it better but I liked what it was. But this bank wall right here to drop, you've seen Tyshawn and a ton of other skaters go absolutely crazy. One trick that I think is notable, check out John Shanahan's part. And if you know what it is, tell me what trick he did in the comments. Facts. This long out rail, bro, to, to gap, I love it. I've skated this for a long time. And did you know that there's a cat underneath when you go inside? That's crazy. Overall, Blubba has some solid stuff to skate. These are all things in the area. This is directly across the street, as you've seen, right where you spawn in at actually at the bus stop. This is just the next level up. There are so many gameplay things that I kind of like come up with in my head and I wish we could change or I wish I could get these messages across to somebody so we can get some type of changes. But it seems like all we're getting right now is uh, cosmetics like the Liquid Death guy or the TMNT or maps like supposedly we have El Toro, Carlsbad, um, Hollywood High, Skittles Ledge is coming soon. That was supposed to be on Friday or maybe they were just announcing that a DLC is coming on Friday and it wasn't the actual release date of the DLC. I thought it was. Maybe they had some info on their Instagram but I think it was just in their stories so there's nothing for me to go back and check. This game would definitely flourish if it was a little more focused on changing the gameplay mechanics to make a more well-rounded um, experience for the player, especially with the lack of um, online play and 
with them explicitly saying that they are not going to put online in the game because it is not something that works with their current physics mode. It's just like, I just wish this game had a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a community, but it doesn't seem like it's going to come through online play. So our best bet is to get it going through these comments and y'all hitting the subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching all my videos. Thanks for the love, bro. Peace.